I just want to start today's video with uh, a few comments about your comments, the comments that you guys leave at the bottom of the uh, videos that I put up, and um, how much I enjoy reading them and getting involved in the discussions. Uh, what's nice is what I talk about and my views are simply that, they're my views and opinions. I don't think I've ever said that uh, I feel like I'm, I'm right or I know best, it's just a case of this is what I'm thinking at the moment. Uh, and quite often when I read the comments that you leave afterwards, uh, it will change my view or opinion on something. So, you know, I'm not the be all and end all of everything. I can only talk about what I can talk about at the time and um, my mind is open. And um, it, what's nice to see is so are the minds of you people that leave the comments. There's never any abuse on there. We never criticize anyone for their comments. It's just really nice place for people to go uh, and discuss whatever the video is about and sometimes a bit more. So um, thank you for that. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, keep it up. Now today's video is uh, looking back at actually one of the videos that provoked loads of comments from you. Uh, it was all about uh, the charging and the issues with the 2018 Nissan LEAF around whether uh, it could be multiple rapid charged uh, over um, a short period of time. Well, at the time, I, my comments on the matter were that uh, Nissan weren't really saying anything and they needed to come out and say something one way or the other to be uh, finally put the thing to bed so we knew where we all stood. Well thankfully they have and um, whilst there's nothing groundbreaking about the statement they've made, um, I think it's enough just to put the matter to bed now because um, what I personally what I didn't want was them to come out and make a load of promises about stuff that they they're going to do how they're going to look into it and keep everyone hanging on um, basically what they have said is that uh, the the car isn't designed to be rapid charged multiple times over the course of a day uh, there is a certain software within the car that will kick in to reduce the charge time and that is to ensure that the battery in the car will last a long period of time i.e years um, we may not agree with that and we may all have our own views and opinions about whether there should have been a thermal management system on there in the first place uh, hopefully that will be addressed with the 60 kilowatt um, hour leaf that's coming but for now nissan have pretty much said uh, look in the manual which again i've learned from some of the comments uh, that you've made apparently in the manual it does say it will look after its battery if you try and charge it too many times so uh, look in the manual, um, drive that car to its limitations. For me, the fact is that they've come out and said that, and I now know that if I buy that car, I know what its limitations are. And that's all I've asked for, some honesty. And if that car's not right for me, then I won't buy it. I'll wait for the 60 kilowatt hour one, or I'll look elsewhere. So uh, thank you for that, uh, Nissan. Uh, I'm pleased that they've done that. Uh, and as I said before, you may or may not agree with what they're doing, but at least they've firmly said now this is the car's capability so that's that's good news uh, right on with the day and i'm heading up to um a bit of a lookout point up here i want to um i've never been to it i just wanted to have a wander up and have a look so uh let's wander up there and a bit more about batteries well this is a lovely walk it's actually a bit further than i thought but um i think i'm nearly there so batteries uh right we know that uh, in the past nissan have had problems with um in certain areas some of the batteries they put in their uh first generation leafs well, there were certain conditions that if they were met, then they were covered under warranty. So uh, you could get it replaced free of charge through Nissan. But those conditions were pretty stringent and um, I don't think actually that many people got them replaced. However, they recognized there was an issue. Well, now there is an alternative. Nissan have come together with the Sumitomo Corporation uh, and uh, created a company called 4R Energy. Now they've set up a plant in Japan and um, their sole purpose is to take uh, old Nissan Leaf batteries and re refabricate them. So they take the good cells out, make new batteries for Nissan Leafs, uh, and the not so good cells they put together and use them for other things, home storage, forklift truck, electric forklift trucks, um, and, and various other things. So rather, and this is where it really pays dividends, is rather than having to spend 5,000 plus pounds on a brand new battery from Nissan, you can get a refabricated one, which is made purely of the good cells uh, for uh, 
they're quoting in the region of £2,000, about $2,850. So you, you can see it's a massive saving. Now the price I'm telling you are for the 24 kilowatt hour Leaf. Uh, they're also gonna do the 30 and 40 kilowatt hour batteries. Uh, the prices for those are quite similar, but I can't remember off the top of my head at the moment. Uh, I'll pop them on the screen so you can have a look. Uh, so this sounds like a brilliant scheme and this sounds like something that we've been desperate for, uh, especially when you start looking at the second hand market. There must be some drawbacks, right? I can't believe I've made it. to go home. Can't believe in all the years I've lived there I've never been up there, that's lovely. Uh, definitely a place to come back to. So now I'm going down, let's talk about the downsides and um, to be frank there's very few but there is one massive one uh, and that is that uh, it's only available in Japan. Nowhere else in the world can you get these batteries at the moment. There's this one plant uh, that they've set up. Now obviously the hope is that uh, this will go out across the world, you know, across Europe. We can get it here in the UK, uh, wherever you live. But for now, they're not talking about any plans. Now I have contacted Nissan and I've asked them about a few things, uh, including when it might be rolled out into uh, Europe. And um, also one of the questions that always comes up is if I've got a 24 kilowatt hour leaf, can I put a 30 kilowatt hour battery in or 30 to 40 or 24 to 40, whatever you want. Is that possible? Because from what I've seen so far, it probably isn't, but surely there's gotta be a way. Surely it's just a case of it's a battery. There must be a, a converter, a connection, something that you can do. So I've asked them these questions. Um, I'm still waiting on a reply. If I get a reply before this video goes up and it is a few days before it goes up because I'm, I'm actually getting ahead of myself, which is brilliant. Uh, as long as I get a reply, I'll, um, I'll add it in somewhere so you can see what they've got to say. Uh, but for now, it's a really interesting scheme. It's a scheme that I'm hoping will uh, come and be available to people all over the world. Uh, hopefully it's just that first um, step because let's be honest, there's not masses of batteries at the moment. So there probably isn't the amount of batteries to create uh, enough factories to run the scheme all over the world. But as more and more cars are sold, more and more cars are scrapped, then obviously there's gonna be more and more batteries. So um, it's another wait and see, I'm afraid, as with most things with EVs at the moment, it's all so new. Um, but that's it, that's my update for you. So hopefully you've enjoyed it, if you have, and um, you've enjoyed the views up here like I have today, remember to like and share. Uh, and if you're not doing so already, um, hit the subscribe button and um, you'll be kept updated with any new videos that go on. Uh, but for now, thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you soon, take care.